Good afternoon, Wabash. It is approximately 2 o'clock on Sunday afternoon, and rather than send you a giant long email that I tend to be notorious for, I uh, thought we'd go ahead and just uh, do a quick recording, go over some of the highlights of uh, this upcoming week, uh, some things to look forward to, and then uh, cut it uh, rather short at that point. So, with no further ado, what do we got coming this week? Well, first of all, if you want to order a class homecoming t-shirt, you need to do that by Tuesday this week, Tuesday the 15th. Um, there is a link on my Canvas page. I sent that to you earlier today. Um, so be sure to look on your Canvas page for the link. You can order that t-shirt. And uh, those should be in uh, sometime in about a week uh, around the beginning of homecoming week next week. So get those ordered by Tuesday if you want a homecoming 2020 class t-shirt. Um, also, uh, seniors, you can start putting your names on the ticket booth. Uh, we had a large number of seniors out this morning uh, putting their names uh, on the ticket booth. And so uh, we're going to have two other times this week. You'll be able to come out during lunch and advisory on Wednesday get your food, head out to the uh, ticket booth, be able to uh, paint during that period, and also on Friday. Now, keep in mind, Friday uh, is an e-learning day. You won't be at school. You will be expected to uh, be online doing your work at home. Uh, however, in that advisory lunch time frame period, uh, you can come into the school, um, get your stuff, uh, your paint, whatever, and paint your name on the ticket booth on Friday. So those will be Wednesday and Friday, those times Wednesday, Friday from 11 to 12 or that lunch advisory time for you, time period and you'll be able to get painted. Keep in mind, we have over 100 seniors. So if you paint your name large and we do not have enough room for all the senior names, we will have to paint over those large names uh, to allow room uh, for other people. So please, be considerate of your classmates. Keep your names relatively uh, uh, normal size. Don't overdo it. Uh, we don't want to have to paint over anybody's name and, and upset anybody. Also, as we get uh, the okay on the parking lot and more construction begins to clear up from the building projects, uh, seniors were hoping to be able to get to start painting your uh, parking spots as well. So uh, hopefully within this week or next week, we'll have some information on that for you. Uh, what else we got going this week? Um, <clears throat> real quick, I want to bring up, uh, we've had a report that some of the sanitizer stations, the hand sanitizer stations that we have, they have been broken into. Uh, and the bags of sanitizer have been stolen out of them. Um, folks, come on, seriously. If you need hand sanitizer, whether you feel you need to carry it around with you or you need hand sanitizer for home, um, please don't steal the school's hand sanitizer. Um, we've got ways to help you out. We've got sanitizer that we can give you if it's a necessity rather than having to break into, steal the hand sanitizer uh, out of the uh, different stations. Just come see me. We will help you out. We will get you hand sanitizer that you can take home or carry on your person. But come on, seriously, we're, we're breaking in and stealing the bags of sanitizer out of the stations. Um, you know, that's that's something we don't do here at Wabash. So if you need hand sanitizer, please see me. I will will help uh, help you get some that, that you can have in a legitimate uh, and legal um, manner. Also, uh, in the boys' bathroom downstairs, uh, you know what? Apparently somebody out there really likes the signs that I've put up uh, in the bathroom. Um, I don't know why you feel the need that you have to uh, tear them down and throw them out, um, uh, take them with you, not too sure what you're doing with them, but if you like those signs so much, let me know. I've got tons of extra copies. It's no big deal for, for me to get you a, a laminated sign like we have hanging up in the bathroom, so just come and ask me about it. Uh, we'll get it for you. That way you don't have to tear it down out of the bathroom and, and, and disrupt things there and, and really, again, Seriously, we're, we're taking signs out of the bathroom. Um, just come see me. I'll get you one if you feel the need that uh, you have to have that. Um, 
this week, what do we got going on? Well, we've got uh, Monday, 11.30 a.m. Um, there is a virtual IU Fort Wayne uh, visit, um, be able to tour the campus, see the campus online. If you're interested in that, please see, uh, Mrs. Abby Denny. Um, Wednesday, big day on Wednesday, 930 in the morning, we are going to have the get schooled tour. Now we've had them here in the past. However, we are not going to be able to do the normal convocation uh, uh, convocation that we have in the, the auditorium because of, because of COVID and the restrictions that we have. So what we're going to do, this will be a virtual convocation. It's the first time we've ever done anything like this. Um, they're learning. We're learning. Um, I will be sending you out a link. Uh, teachers will get a link, students will get a link, all the information will be coming to you Monday and Tuesday of this week. So please look for that information. And then Wednesday at 930 in the morning, we are going to uh, log into that and uh, watch the Get School Tour um, virtually online. And that will be for students that are here at school. Uh, you can either view it individually or as a classroom. And then also uh, for those of you who are doing online at home or an alternative school or a different location, or maybe you're just out for that day, um, you'll be able to view that as well at 9.30 in the morning. So it's kind of a live virtual type convocation that we're going to have. So um, again, that information will be coming to you uh, Monday or Tuesday of this week. Thursday, all day, guidance department. Uh, Mrs. Denny and Mrs. Denny will be in the government classes um, working on different things there. So please be aware of that. They will not be in the guidance office down here. Uh, so you'll have to uh, uh, get online, send them an email that you need to meet with them or uh, get something uh, written on their boards outside of their rooms. If it is an emergency, uh, come down to the office, let us know, and we will uh, get a hold of them and, and get one of them out for you. But please be aware that uh, Thursday they'll be in the government classes. Friday, the 18th. This is an e-learning day. This will be our first uh, officially designated e-learning day. So students, you will not be here at school, but again, you are expected to uh, log on and spend the day working on your work and, and getting it done. Information will be forthcoming from your individual teachers uh, on how attendance is going to be taken and uh, how those classes are going to go, but please be aware of, uh, of that e-learning day on Friday. And really with that, those are the major things that are going on this week. Uh, so let's talk sports a little bit. Uh, can't say enough about that tremendous football victory this past Friday night. Um, football team, you guys were awesome. Student section, those students that came sat in the student section, you guys were amazing. Uh, had a lot of good comments from the community. Uh, the new alumni field is absolutely just gorgeous. I, I hope you students understand how fortunate we are to have the facility and really overall facilities, whether it's the school building or athletics, um, what we have here at Wabash. We are very, very fortunate. Um, we have a lot of people who uh, take a lot of pride uh, in our school and our community and really top-notch top-notch facilities for us to uh, uh, play on and represent uh, our city on. So fantastic job this Friday. Keep it rolling, football players. Um, we're going to be out to support you. Monday night, 6 p.m., uh, it's listed as home. Uh, boys C team football against Peru here. Um, if you're not doing anything, make sure you get out there, support the uh, uh, boys football C team. Um, tremendous number of sports going on. Let's see, what do we got? We got Monday tennis uh, at Elwood. Tuesday, looks like girls varsity golf against McConaughey, North Miami. Girls varsity soccer against Lakeland Christian. Uh, if you haven't seen our girls soccer team play, get out and watch them play. Guy, everybody, this is an amazing soccer team that we've got going on right now with the girls. Uh, they are 4-1-1. One, and one. And uh, they just keep rolling. So let's hope, uh, uh, let's wish them luck Tuesday night against Lakeland Christian. Again, Voice Varsity Tennis is going to be at Manchester, or we'll have Manchester at home. And then um, the, the first of a number of volleyball matches for the volleyball team, who is now 9-4, and four, I believe, 
um, Eastern at 6 p.m. on Tuesday. Wednesday, uh, again, varsity tennis uh, versus Peru at home. Tennis players are, are amazing because they just continue to play and play and play and play. A um, lot of matches back to back to back. Girls varsity uh, JV volleyball against Peru at Peru Thursday. Um, boys soccer team is going to be on the road uh, to Blackford. Girls soccer team uh, is going to be at home. Um, what do we got? Uh, more volleyball against North Miami at home. And um, uh, actually, a JV boys soccer is going to be Thursday as well. And then Friday night. This is the big one, guys, everybody. Uh, ladies, 7 p.m. varsity football at Southwood. Watch the social media. Uh, watch what we put out because there'll be information coming uh, in regards to uh, tickets, how many tickets we're going to be given by Southwood, and uh, uh, what you need to do to be able to get in to, to view the game. So um, please be aware of that. And then this Saturday, uh, Cross Country, who is rolling again, um, incredible team all around with boys and girls. They'll be at uh, West Noble Invite. Uh, girls golf sectional time. It's amazing. Here we are six weeks into the school year. We have our first athletic sectionals that will be occurring. So uh, girls varsity golf will be a sectional girls varsity volleyball at the Wawa C invitational um, boys soccer will be home at alumni field uh, against Delphi and uh, girls soccer is going to be on the road at McConaughey. So um, lots of activity, lots of things going on this week. Uh, can't express enough um, thank yous to everybody who made last week possible, everybody who made uh, the football game, the opening of the newly renovated alumni field, Coach McWirt, uh, his staff, uh, students, parents, alumni, Mr. Callahan, school board, everybody that made, uh, made that possible. Um, it just goes to show that we are very fortunate. Wabash is very special, and I hope that each and every one of you understands uh, the unique school and school corporation that you are involved with. Um, Wabash is amazing and uh, can't, can't say enough good things about what's going on here. So if you need anything, make sure you get into the front office, see myself, see Mr. Whelan, uh, Mrs. Abby Denny, Mrs. Terry Denny, any of us, uh, even uh, Mrs. Dillon or, or Mrs. Saunders, and we'll get you what you need. Otherwise, uh, let's have a good week, everybody. Thank you.